Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back one more time to Cheat Code Jiu Jitsu. Uh, we're still working submissions from the side control position where I've got the far side underhook. Got a fun one for you today. Well, fun for me, not as fun for Chad. So uh, this one uh, is another one that I've, I've seen a couple different names for. I learned it originally as the chin strap choke in wrestling. Uh, it's kind of known as the cement mixer. Uh, there's a few other names for it. I've got a couple different variations to show you. The first one I'm going to show you is the one that I learned initially. I've used this one for years and it actually works very effectively. Uh, real good choke. It works when you can flatten a guy out. And then I recently learned another one, caught it off of a Neil Melanson video. I'll put a link in the description to that video so you guys can check out Neil's video on a very similar choke. Uh, this works really well for when I start locking the guy up and then he's able to come up onto his elbow. Uh, it really turns the choke on super, super nasty, and it's just absolutely horrible for the guy on bottom with how quick it comes on. So, Chad's down there in side control. I've got my underhook position here. So the way this choke is gonna work is I'm gonna wrap his head just like I'm doing a guillotine, except I'm gonna cup his chin and put a chin strap in place. And then I'm gonna extract my hand a little bit so that I can take his head and turn it to the side. There's gonna be a little bit of neck crank in here, but the point of this really is not to crank his neck. It's really to choke him. But by turning his head to the side like that with that chin strap grip, it's gonna allow me to more effectively fold his neck over and start collapsing the trachea, the carotid arteries, and all the other stuff that he needs to get oxygen into his brain. Underhook, take a grip on the shoulder, wrap the head. You can see right here, go into the chin. I'm just gonna lock the chin strap up, pull it down, and then I'm gonna bend my elbow back. Now, this is not the choke right here. This probably isn't gonna feel great for him, but I won't finish it as long as he's up on his side like this. I need to drive him flat. I don't want to do it quite from right here where my chest is in line with his shoulder. I want to pull myself up. So now his shoulder is in line with my shoulder. I'm gonna drive forward to flatten him out. And then if you watch my legs here, we're gonna do another little hip switch similar to what we did in the guillotine video, except I'm gonna turn towards his head. My butt is off the ground. My weight is on his chest. I still have this far side underhook in place. And now I'm just gonna take this elbow, retract, get the tap. So one more time. I catch my underhook. I wrap the head. I get a hold of the chin. Turn the chin down. Readjust my body just a little bit. Go shoulder to shoulder. Drive him down. Switch the hips over body weight down into his chest, and then just pull up. One of the big keys to making that work is making sure that you have nothing on the ground other than your toes. When I'm in this position, if I have my hips on the floor and I have this far side arm on the floor and I go to pull up on him, I do have weight and pressure going into his neck and into his throat. There's not a ton of pressure on his chest. And that's one of the ways that this choke works, is it's a compression choke. I'm crushing his chest in so every time he exhales, he can't, he can't inhale, he can't get air back in. And then he exhales again, and it crushes down a little more and a little more. So what I want is I want to be on my toes, I want to be driving into him, I want my butt off the floor, and I don't want to rest this far side underhook on the floor. I want to lift it up just a little bit so that all my body weight is right here across his chest, crushing his lungs down to get the chin, chin strap choke. Another way of doing it, this is where I got from the Neil Melanson video. I catch here, I start to wrap. This time Chad comes up really quick to his elbow. This is gonna work similarly and then I'm gonna wrap the chin, but now I'm gonna move this underhook. Right now I've got this underhook up on his shoulder. I'm gonna move it right down here. I'm gonna tight waist him. Unlike the last one, I don't want to run him flat. I actually want to take him to about a 45 degree angle. But I'm going to tight waist him, drive through him, and then pull back. And it's really, really fast tap if you do it right. 
The reason I don't want to drive him all the way down to the mat is because if I get him down to the mat, I don't have as good a pressure on his chest in the way that I did with the last one. The tight waist kind of takes me down his body a little bit, so I can't get that. But having that feeling of him at that 45 degree angle floating with no pressure on his back, it actually transfers a lot of the weight and a lot of the pressure up here to his neck, and it makes it a really nasty, nasty choke. So one more time, Neil's way. I get the underhook, he comes up. Maybe I've tried this angel wing submission before. Check out the cards if you wanna see that. Tried this before, that's not working for whatever reason. So I come up, I chin strap, I tuck in, I tight waist, and then I just run him through and pull, and I get my submission. Submit mixer, chin strap choke, whatever you wanna call it, works really well. See you guys next time.